NEOs or near-Earth objects, are space rocks like asteroids or comets that come quite close to our planet as they orbit the Sun. But what exactly do we mean by close? Astronomers face the challenge of explaining that just because a NEO passes near Earth, it doesn't mean it will collide with us. When they say close, they're not talking about passing just a few meters above our atmosphere. It means the object is less than 1.3 astronomical units away from Earth. To put it into perspective, one astronomical unit equals about 93 million miles or 150 million kilometers, roughly the distance from Earth to the Sun. So even though an object is labeled as a NEO, it doesn't automatically mean it's on a collision course with Earth. It just requires close monitoring. Currently, there are over 30,000 NEOs recorded, and today we'll focus on one in particular, the asteroid Apophis, a massive rock that once seemed destined to collide with our planet. Apophis has stirred concern in the scientific community due to its high likelihood of hitting Earth. But is this threat still imminent? And if so, when will this collision happen? Stay tuned with us till the end to find out the Jupiter incident. Back in July 1994, something extraordinary happened. Comet Shoemaker Levy 9 slammed into Jupiter. It was the first time in history that scientists witnessed a space object crashing into a planet in real time. This impactful event not only fascinated astronomers, but also sparked widespread interest in studying near-Earth objects, NEOs. Shoemaker Levy 9, also known as SL9, was a comet that broke apart into pieces when it passed close to Jupiter in 1992, torn apart by the planet's immense gravitational pull. Two years later, these fragments collided with Jupiter in a dramatic event in July 1994. The impact caused significant changes to Jupiter over several weeks, showing humanity firsthand the destructive power of meteorite strikes. But why does this matter for the Apophis comet? Well, before SL9's impact, there was little interest in studying asteroid or comet impacts on planets. It was thought to be a rare occurrence, not something to worry about. However, SL9 changed that perspective entirely, alerting us that such events could happen more frequently and that Earth might be at risk too. This realization sparked concern among scientists and governments, leading to increased funding for projects to identify potential threats to Earth. NASA and other organizations ramped up their efforts to track near-Earth objects, NNEOs, aiming to find 90% of NEOs larger than one kilometer in diameter by 2008. This marked a new era of awareness and readiness for mitigating impact risks. Funding poured into scientific research on NEOs and the construction of telescopes and observatories dedicated to locating asteroids and comets near Earth's orbit. High in the Arizona desert stands the Kitt Peak National Astronomical Observatory, known as KPNO, perched at 2096 meters above sea level. It was here that the Apophis asteroid was first spotted. Dubbed the harbinger of destruction, the search for Earth-threatening objects led observatories worldwide to join the hunt. While many finds turned out harmless upon calculation, everything changed on June 19, 2004. During a routine observation, researchers Roy A. Tucker, David J. Tholen, and Fabrizio Bernardi noticed a bright spot in telescope images. Though familiar with spotting asteroids, this one was different. By capturing successive images of the night sky, scientists noticed a moving object faster than the background stars. Analyzing its trajectory and light signals, they estimated its size. But when they plotted its course, their discovery froze them in disbelief. This object, over 300 meters in diameter, was on a collision course with Earth, set to strike on April 13th, 2029. Though not as colossal as the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs, Apophis posed 
a serious threat, large enough to annihilate an entire continent. The researchers, stunned by their findings, embarked on a mission to validate their discovery. They shared the asteroid's coordinates and images with observatories worldwide, urging them to confirm the collision calculations. Yet this proved challenging. Apophis, a small body, eluded easy observation. Despite efforts at KPNO, they only caught sight of it for two fleeting nights before it vanished from view. With the data they gathered, the signs pointed to an impending impact. Initially dubbed 99942, the asteroid acquired a new name, Apophis. Some speculate it's named after the Egyptian god of destruction, but the truth is more intriguing. The scientists behind the discovery were fans of the TV series Stargate SG-1, where a villain bears the same name, derived from the Egyptian god. Its emergence made headlines, sparking global discussions. Then, on December 18th of the same year, astronomer Gordon Garad spotted Apophis again from an Australian observatory, followed by sightings from observatories worldwide. The asteroid Apophis has grabbed global attention as it poses a potential threat to Earth. But is it still headed our way? Ever since its discovery in 2004, Apophis has been under close observation by numerous observatories and telescopes worldwide, including space telescopes. Thanks to these observations, we've gained valuable insights into its path. Calculations by hundreds of scientists indicate that Apophis will make its next closest approach to Earth on April 13, 2029. Experts suggest that if Apophis were to strike, it could hit anywhere between the Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia and the region of Venezuela. Initially, astronomers were taken aback when subsequent observations after its discovery increased rather than decreased the probability of an impact. At one point, the chance of impact surged to as high as 2.7% or 1 in 37. This heightened probability, coupled with Apophis's considerable size of over 300 meters, led to its classification as a level 4 threat on the Torino scale. The Torino scale is a tool used to gauge the hazard posed by near-Earth objects. It ranges from 0 to 10, with 0 indicating a negligible probability of impact and 10 signifying a catastrophic global event that could endanger all life on Earth. So where does Apophis currently stand on the Torino scale? On December 27, 2004, the discovery of Apophis allowed scientists to refine their calculations of its orbit, reassuring humanity that there was no immediate threat of collision with Earth by 2029. This adjustment in trajectory downgraded Apophis's threat level from 4 to 0, alleviating fears of a catastrophic impact in the near future. This pivotal moment provided a sense of relief, granting people the peace of mind to rest easy, knowing that Apophis posed no imminent danger to our planet. In 2006, concerns arose among astronomers regarding Apophis potentially becoming trapped in a gravitational lock during its close encounter with Earth in 2029, raising the spectre of a collision in 2036. However, subsequent calculations brought reassurance, indicating only a remote possibility of impact in 2036 or during its subsequent approach in 2068. While this news suggested that Apophis did not pose a significant threat within this century, it underscored the importance of continued vigilance and monitoring of near-Earth objects. Despite the temporary reprieve, the scientific community remained vigilant, recognizing the unpredictable nature of celestial events and the need for ongoing efforts to safeguard our planet from potential cosmic hazards. There are countless other near-Earth objects out there waiting to be discovered. Who knows? One might show up with a high threat level on the Torino scale. If that happens, the sooner we find it, the better. Why? Because the more time we have, the better our chances of diverting it and keeping our planet safe.
hit the subscribe button, let us know about your thoughts in the comments section below about these near-Earth objects.